In this video tutorial, I'll be showing you how to use the deres effect on your video clip and uh, the various configurations it has. And it's basically kind of a VHS type of distortion. And I'll go ahead and show you how it looks. So to apply this effect, the first thing you need to do is go to the effects tab, go to the distort folder, then go to the deres um, effect. And notice that this um, deres VGHS uh, effect is a layer only effect. That means you need to work with a composite shot. So you get this video clip, you can go ahead and turn it into a composite shot. And once you turn it into a composite shot, you're now working with layers. So with this layer, you go ahead and apply the deres effect by left click, holding and dragging it to the, um, to the flower sample layer or your video clip layer. And you can notice automatically that this is how the effect looks, it's quite nice. I think it is quite reminiscent of VHS tapes, although I would take out the, blo um, the blocky pixelations. And to, in order to do that, um, you have to notice that the deres effect is actually composed of three different effects. The pixelation effect, the wavy line effect, and the horizontal lines effect. Now, if you want to change the strength of these and how present they are within the video, you can uh, change the um, strength con um, percentage. Now before I do that, I'll go ahead and show you how the video looks um, as it is with the DRS effect applied. And then if I go ahead and uh, take off the effect, you can see the original video clip um, without the effect applied. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how um, you can manipulate these um, uh, different effects inside the DRES effect. So the DRES effect looks like this originally. If you take off the pixelation, you'll notice the blockiness will go away. The pixelation will go away. And this is um, how it looks right now. It's just the horizontal lines you'll notice and the wavy lines which uh, kind of have a red color to it. And then um, if I go ahead to uh, wavy lines and uh, change the strength to zero, you'll notice just the horizontal lines are left, left over. And the horizontal lines are pretty good for just uh, producing a kind of effect that's reminiscent of VHS tapes without, without the distortions. If all, you'll notice that very old video have wavy lines. And so this is, if you just want that kind of effect, you would just uh, leave the horizontal uh, lines at 50% strength and the other uh, two effects at 0% strength. And finally, horizontal lines, if you decrease the strength to zero, you have the original video clip. Now, um, what happens if you turn it to 100%? Well, this will um, become a lot brighter, much, uh, the contrast will be sharper. And you can see the lines are much more clear, like that. The wavy lines, if you um, at 50%, it looks like this, and if you put it to 100%, it just becomes more brighter, more substantial. And finally, the pixelation at 50%, it looks like this, and at 100%, is a lot more substantial. This is like, um, this is like if you know those uh, uh, games that use like bits, you know those old games with um, you know, with lots of pixelations it uses pixels. It would, uh, this is kind of reminiscent of that. And if I play the video clip, it looks like this. Not very, um, I mean, I guess it depends on what you're trying to do. For example, if you, um, if you want an intro which uh, depixelates, like it's really pixely and then it becomes unpixelated uh, for an intro, I'll go ahead and show you how to do that very quickly with keyframing. So the first thing I'm going to do is change the wavy lines to zero. And I'm going to try, um, change the horizontal lines to zero. And we have this really pixelated um, video clip. The next thing you want to do is um, move the trimmer or scrubber over here. And then um, let's see, right now it's at 100% uh, strength. You want to turn on the um, keyframing over here. Is go to effects, go to deres, go to pixelation. And then under pixelation is strength. Um, and the strength is right now at 100%. And maybe um, after a couple of seconds has passed, you want this uh, strength to decrease and therefore unpixelate. So maybe after a couple of seconds, it's going to be at 0% strength. And so I'm going to go ahead and show you how it looks now. And this is how you would make like an um, depixelation um, intro. That's a bit too slow. So maybe you want it closer together like that. And maybe from the get-go, you'd want to um, apply that um, kind of effect like this. 
and that's how that would look. And similarly, you can apply that for the wavy lines or the horizontal lines. You also have a couple other different options. You have source frame shift, which basically you'll notice it's it will just simply shift where where the uh, pixels are uh, placed. Uh, you have mask erode and expand, and this um, let's see. I guess it um, it may work with a different context. I don't know how that works. Horizontal blocks will uh, let you decide how big the pixels are horizontally. See? I'll just control Z that. There you go. And then vertical blocks lets you control how uh, big the pixels are vertically. See? And if you just want really big pixels, you'd want to push them to all the way at the minimum. Like that. And I'll uh, control Z them. So you see it receded from the minimum. The minimum would be like that. Okay. And I'll go ahead and show you now the wave lines, uh, how the wave lines work. So at 100%, this is how it looks. You'll notice that uh, these are kind of horizontal too. And then uh, depending on the, um, you know, the frame it's on, it may uh, form waves around that image. So you can uh, change the source frame shift. Which uh, changes where the, which should change where the uh, waves are located. Yes, you also ha you can uh, choose the frequency of the wavy lines. You can make them really frequent, and that ends up making them very thin or very uh, low frequency, and therefore increase the um, size of the wave. And now it's really big. If you notice, like that whole uh, this whole segment right here is one wave. Uh, let's see. So that's for frequency, and you have sharpness which um, dictates how sharp uh, it ends up looking okay I see so what happens is if you increase the sharpness it may um, hide the very thin lines and if you leave the sharpness at what it is regularly you'll notice the thin lines are still present it kind of but if you increase the sharpness it kind of melts everything together and then finally you have a smooth source depending on how smooth you want to make it and how if you want to make um, make it really uh, sharp, I don't know why they call this sharpness. This should be called sharpness. But if you want to make it very like um, very detailed, you'd put the smoothness to zero, and then if you um, increase the smooth source, you actually uh, blur out the image a bit. See? And finally, okay. So since we're done with wavy lines, I'm gonna change the strength to zero, and we're gonna go to the next one, which is horizontal lines. This is pretty self-explanatory. I'll first I'll pump this up to 100. You see the source uh, frame shift. If you, if you uh, want to change where the lines are located, if it doesn't change, ah, there you go. See, if you change that, you can change where the lines are um, placed on the um, video clip. So that's what source frame shift does. You have inverted lines. You can choose. Um, the frequency and therefore the thickness of the lines if you want to make it really thin you push it um, to the middle actually if you want to make it thick then you can um, push it to one end or the other end like right here see and then the sharpness over here it will um, increase the how, how much it contrasts with the image like right now you can barely tell there's any lines but if you increase this, you can see very clearly the uh, where the lines are placed. Anyways, and finally you have the angle. If you want to change which angle you want it to be applied to the video clip, if you want it to be applied vertically, you'd be like you just change the angle to 90 degrees. And if you want it to uh, how it was regularly, then about one uh, about zero degrees. So you can uh, you know control this. You have that controls if you want. You can control the brightness which more or less controls the brightness of the image honestly if you want to see the lines really very clearly I would set it around uh, um, the minimum over here and finally you have offset which um, which also controls how uh, clearly you can see the lines see you have a smooth source again if you want to um, blur it out a bit See? Finally, you have a brightness and a contrast, and that's just another effect. 
inside the horizontal waves or another configuration and so that's all there is to it thanks for listening if you have any questions please feel free to ask me in the comments below i'd appreciate if you would like and share this video and subscribe to my channel and if you're looking for any sort of uh, specific video clip for the hit film for um Hit Film Express Video Editor. Go ahead and ask me. I'll make a tutorial for you. Bye.